Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. This is part two of me opening a Sun and Moon Pokemon booster box. If you missed out on part one, you'll find a link in the description of this video. Or if you're on the desktop version of YouTube, you'll see a button on the screen. Part one is pretty good to me. Pulled out a Rainbow Hollow slash Hyper Rare. And then the expected amount of Hollows and Ultra Rares. So I'll get to part two here. 18 packs to open up. Okay, so first pack here, Lunala on the cover artwork. Again, 11 cards per pack when you include that energy card. 12 total if you include the TCG online code card. Did get this box from Collector's Cash for $89.99. You'll find a link to their website in the description of this video. So, first pack in part two starts off with a Makuhita. There's a Snubble. Alolan Rattata. Sandile. Next up, Picky Peck. There is a Lightning Type Energy. Pissimian. Rotom Dex. Available in Secret Rare form as well. There is a Yukumuku. Reverse Hollow of a Great Ball. Uncommon Rarity. And then the Rare in the first pack is a Golduck. And I believe this was one of the first Rare Reverse Hollow cards I pulled out in Part 1. So a Solgaleo pack now. Code card. So this pack starts off with a Carvana. There's a Picky Peck. Sandile. Snubble. Firo. Darkness type energy. Boldor. Great Ball, Passimian, Reverse Hollow of, Pelipper, and that is an uncommon rarity. And the rare here, first hollow pull of this half of the box in an Arcanine. Like I mentioned in part one, do like the mixture of older and newer Pokemon, a good way to introduce the seventh generation of Pokemon to the TCG. Free Marina on the cover artwork here, the stage two evolution of Poplio. Card trick again, the f four and then two. So this pack starts off with a Psyduck. There's a Bound Sweet, Lillipup, Dratini, Wingle, Water Type Energy, Timer Ball Trainer, Boldor. There is an Ultra Ball Trainer, Reverse Hollow of a Fomantis, Common Rarity, and the rare here, a Butterfree. That is a non hollow. I'd really like to pull in this half of the box either a secret rare or something like Espeon, Umbreon, or Tauros for the GX cards. Again, no EX cards in Sun and Moon. They're doing away with the EX cards. The GX cards are taking over. So this pack starts off with a Paris. There's a Caterpie. Makuhita. Chincho. Toga tomorrow, Fairy type energy, Rare candy, Pinsir, How, Reverse Hollow of a Lily, also available in full art form, one of the most valuable Japanese cards that I have. This is an uncommon rarity, and the rare is a Lantern. Next pack here, Desiduai, Stage 2 Evolution of Rowlet. So here is the code card. Surprisingly, I haven't messed up the card trick at all in my packs, at least I don't think so. So this pack here starts with a Growlithe. Next up, Roggenrola. There's a Cosmog. Litten. Psyduck. Metal type energy. Granbull. Metapod. Lily. Reverse Hollow of a Metapod, so two Metapods in this pack, uncommon rarity, and then the actual rare, there we go, a Primarina GX. So a very good looking card, it's almost similar to a full art card, but a regular GX, stage 2 evolution of Poplio, like I just mentioned. So I will set that aside, that is the second regular GX card that I've pulled out of this box.
I'm thinking I'll probably get six total ultra rares and secret rares, and then six hollow cards. I'm not exactly sure if that pull rate varies at all. I know in some of the XY series sets you could get 11 or 13 total hollows and ultra rares combined. So this pack starts off with a Zubat. There's a Torkoal, Rowlet, Drowsy, Cutie Fly, Darkness Type Energy, Steeny, there's a Poliwhirl, Brion, Reverse Hollow of a Wingle, Common Rarity, and the rare here is an Incineroar. I believe that is the second Incineroar I've pulled this box, because I remember mentioning it was the featured Pokemon in the Roaring Heat theme deck. Gave that away yesterday. I'll have another theme deck review and giveaway coming up in the very new near future. Early this coming week, I'll actually have a couple of giveaways on my channel. One for some Sun and Moon booster packs and booster box, and then for the theme deck, and I'll probably give away the Bright Tide theme deck this month. So this pack starts off with a Paris. There's a Caterpie. Makuhita. Chincho. Togedemaru. There is a Water Type Energy. Switch Trainer. Alolan Persian, Brion, Reverse Hollow is an Ultra Ball, hoping that was a secret rare, but it's an uncommon Reverse Hollow, and then the rare in the pack is a Stoutland, second Stoutland I pulled this box as well, and with a limited number of cards in a set like this, you're always bound to get duplicates, but this is a pretty large set overall, 149 cards in the base set, and then 14 Secret rare, so I believe there's 163 total cards in the set, something like that. So this pack starts off with the Alolan Meowth. There's the Growlithe, Roggenrola, Cosmog, Litten. There's a Fairy type Energy, How, Dartrix, Pokeball Trainer, Reverse Hollow of a Crabominable. And that is a rare, first rare reverse hollow of this half of the box. Pulled five in the first half. And then the final card is a hollow, and that is a Orangaroo. So a pretty good pack right there, going rare reverse hollow into hollow. And depending on how well this box goes, I'm really considering opening up another Sun and Moon booster box on my channel in the future. Especially, like I mentioned earlier, this is a large set, and it is going to be very expensive to collect. Usually I open several packs and then buy the cards I need, but I may do it a little bit differently this time around. So this pack starts off with a Stuffle. There's a Poplio, Zubat, Shelder, Young Goose. There is a Darkness Type Energy, Pokeball, Hypno, Big Malasada. First time I think I pulled that trainer card. Next up for the Reverse Solo is an Alolan Meowth, and then the final card in the pack is a Cosmoem, so a card that I have not pulled in this box yet. That Alolan Meowth, just a common rarity. If you'd see the Alolan Persian, definitely gains some weight. I know those Alolan Pokemon are specific to the Alolan region, so that's why they look different than the normal Persian Meowth, Dogtrio, Diglett, etc. So this pack here starts off with a Crab Brawler. Next up, Marini. There's an Alolan Diglett. Dupider. Alolan Meowth. Water Type Energy. Pokemon Catcher. Granbull. Boldor. Reverse Hollow of an Alolan Grimer. Common Rarity. And the rare here is a Desidui, so the Stage 2 evolution of Rowlet and the featured Pokemon in the Forest Shadow theme deck. So next Sun and Moon pack here, Lunala on the cover artwork. And with those theme decks, this was the first set in a long time to release the theme decks early, plus it had three theme decks instead of two. So this pack starts off with a Surskit, there's a Wingle, Poplio, Growlithe, Grubbin, Fairy-type Energy, Experience Share, 
Alolan Raticate, another heavy Pokemon. There's a Wishy Washy. Reverse Holo of a Cosmoem. Just pulled that one in rare non holo form, so of course, rare Reverse Holo. That makes two in this half of the box. And the rare in this pack is another GX card. This one is a Sogalio GX. So a couple of good GX pulls so far. Again, I was a bit disappointed by the GX full art that I pulled in part one. Probably my least wanted GX full art, but very happy with the two GX cards that pulled this half the box. Primarina and then Sogalio. Still like to pull one of the first or second generation GX cards out. Probably getting one, maybe two more ultra rares in this half of the box. Again, I'll be opening all the new Sun and Moon stuff very soon on my channel. So this pack starts with Stuffle. There's a Poplio. Zubat. Shelter, Young Goose. There is a Metal Type Energy. Corsola. Repel. Pelipper, Boulder, and that is an uncommon reverse holo. And the rare in this pack, a Cloister non holo. I'm trying to feel the cards a little bit. I know someone asked me in one of my videos if the quality of these cards have improved at all. And I know for a long time, um, black and white specifically, the quality of the cards really went downhill. I'll have to look a little more closely at these cards, but for the most part, they feel pretty solid. Of course, not as nice of quality as the Japanese cards. And that's why if you ever look on sites like eBay that sell cards, if you have a PSA 10 graded, any ultra rare, they're worth a ton of money just because it's so hard to get perfect condition English cards. So this pack here starts off with Eevee. There's a Crab Roller. Marini. Alolan Diglett. There's a Dupiter. Fighting type energy. Rainbow energy. Toracat. There's a Metapod. Reverse Solo of a Psyduck. Common card there. And the rare here is a Two Cannon. So another card that I have not pulled in that rare spot. Like I said, my goal is to complete this set as quickly as possible, but I like to open several packs before I start buying individual cards. I'll open up both Elite Trainer boxes, the two three-pack blisters, the two one-pack blisters, and any other product released with Sun and Moon packs in them. I know there's a Zygarde pin box also released that will be opening up. So this pack here starts off with Psyduck. There's a Bound Suite. Lillipup, Dratini, Wingle, Grass-type Energy, there is a Brion, or Briani, not exactly sure how to pronounce that one, Croc Rock, Pelipper, Reverse Sala of Marini, that is a common card, and the rare in this pack is a Crocodile, and that is a Hollow. So third Hollow pull of this half the box. Unless it's an above average box, I would say there's going to be one good card remaining out of these final four packs. That's the Do I Cover Artwork pack here. So here is the code card. So first pack here. First card in the pack here starts off with a Morlow. There is a Skarmory, Poliwag, Sandy Gast, Eevee, Fire Type Energy. There is a Golbat, Energy Switch, Professor Kakui, Reverse Hollow of a Crushing Hammer. It's a trainer that's been in a few different sets recently. This one is an uncommon. And the rare here is a Beware. And second one of those I have pulled in this box. Really a funny looking Pokemon if you ask me. Sort of like a bare body and then for some reason a pink head. Every generation that gets created, the Pokemon gets stranger and stranger in my opinion. But I am more familiar with the older Pokemon, so I'm sure when they were first released as well, they're a little bit strange. So this is the third to last pack here. And it starts off with a Lillipup. There is a Paris, Firo, Litten, Young Goose, Lightning Type Energy. There is an Alima, Hypno, Trumbeak, Reverse Hollow of, Double Colorless Energy, very good special energy card. 
Dub. It is a uncommon card. And then the rare in the pack is a Masquerade. So two packs left. Like I mentioned, I should be getting an ultra rare in one of these two final packs. So second to last pack now. So Galio on the cover artwork. Psyduck right on the front, as you can see. So here's the code card. Overall, I've been happy with this box. Not any amazing pulls by any means. I was happy to get that rainbow rare, but not really one of the ones that I really wanted. So this pack starts with a Psyduck. There's a Bound Sweet, Lillipup, Dratini, Wingle. There is a Psychic Type Energy, Switch Trainer, a Yukumuku, Big Maliswata. Next up, Reverse Hollow is a Drowsy, Common Rarity, and the rare in this pack is a Ultra Rare in the Lunala GX. So pull out both Sogalia and Lunala GX in this half of the box. Probably my final Ultra Rare pull. But one more pack left to go. See if it is an above average box pulls wise overall. Don't know if that's possible or not. Haven't watched enough sun and moon openings and haven't opened enough packs myself. But final pack here in this sun and moon booster box opening. And I'll be doing plenty of sun and moon openings in the near future. As well as those EX tins. Very excited to start that series. 25 EX tins I'll be opening in the coming weeks on YouTube. Every single EX tin released in XY series sets. So final pack starts off with an Alolan Meowth. There's a Growlithe, Roggenrola, Cosmog, Litten, there is a Water Type Energy, Corsola, Double Colorless Energy, Dragonair, Reverse Solo of a Decidui. Good ending to this box, a pack that has two rares in it. Rare Reverse Solo, of course, with this card. And the final card is a Hariyama Non Hollow. So, right on par with. 12 total hollows and ultra rares. I can summarize the entire box now. So just in part two alone, pulled out three rare reverse hollows. So Desidui, Cosmoum, and then Crabomitable. So in total, I pulled out eight rare, rare reverse hollows out of 36 packs. For hollow cards, I pulled out three hollows in this half, three hollows in part one for six total. So in this half, Crocodile, Orangaroo, and Arcanine. And then same thing goes for Ultra Rares. Pulled three in this half of the box, three in the first half. So in this half of the box, all three were regular GX cards. So Lunala, Sogalio, and then Primarina. And then in part one, I pulled out a Lapras GX, a Gumshoes GX Full Art, and then a Lorantis GX. It is a Rainbow Rare slash Hyper Rare. So there you have it on the entire box. Pretty happy to pull one of those hyper rares out in the future. I'm hoping to pull some secret rares out and then more of the GX full art. So there you have it. Thanks everyone for watching. As always, before you go, check out all the links in the description of this video, including links to my blog, Facebook, and Twitter pages, as well as a link to Collectors Cash's website. And then make sure to stay tuned. I have a couple of good Sun and Moon giveaways coming up this coming week. And I should be opening up one of the two Elite Trainer boxes this Sunday and possibly on Wednesday. Maybe do a larger pack opening on Wednesday. So thanks again, everyone, for watching. And stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.